I'm really hoping that this morning is not a foreshadowing of how this whole day is going to be because it's open to house. I don't know what's happening this week. <laughs> Good morning guys. Let me tell you a little bit about my Thursday morning so far. Um, I forgot my wallet at home because I put it in the bag with the other important stuff that I needed to bring to school today for open house. Instead, I did forget it, so now I don't have my wallet or the things for open house. On top of that, I was almost out of gas and I realized I forgot my wallet when I got to the gas station on my way to school. Realized I only had 27 miles left and school is approximately 24 miles away. That was fun. Literally made it here with one mile to spare. Thank God my lovely mother is going to bring my wallet and the stuff I need for the silly plants. But I'm really hoping this morning is not foreshadowing for how this whole day is going to be because that's way too much stress. <laughs> All right, it's the end of the day. I finally got my room all tidy and clean. I forgot to clean the chalkboard. One second. All right, much better. So we are getting ready for open house. I have about 15, 20 minutes. So I thought I'd show you guys what we got going on. With this is gonna be like a kind of a classroom tour because I realize I haven't shown you guys my classroom yet. So let's start from the outside. sign in right here. I ended up having time to make a scavenger hunt for our open house. It is from Sparkling in second grade. As you can see, our plants started to grow. So that's the first thing on their scavenger hunt. They put little googly eyes. And I had them keep their second grader and training badges on their desks. This is our fluency wall where we measure their fluency. This is our high frequency wall with our turned in bin. They have little fish and then their fish move up the coral until they get to 165. This is where I do small group. I use this table, those are all kind of my small group things and we come over to this corner over here. So we practice our phonics over here, headphones for computers. These are high frequency words and other phonics we've been practicing on with our little library. I've been having packs so not all my books are out. And here is my little photo booth that I made for second grade. And while all my kiddos made shape monsters, so then they'll go along over there. Then we'll come to our guess who wall, which I am super proud of. And then there's our supplies and our grammar wall. All right guys, so I am super excited about their plants. They turned out awesome and I love the way they look on their desk. They were so excited their family was gonna get to see them and I'm obsessed with this guess who wall, this whole idea. I loved it, it turned out awesome. This year my kiddos were a huge help in cleaning up. We made a list to do on the chalkboard and we checked off each piece that we did. It brought us all together to realize like how important this is and how fun it is to show off our classroom and all the hard work that we've been doing. So they were super excited. I think we're gonna have a pretty good turnout and all right, guys, I just got home. It's about 10 o'clock. After open house, they kicked everyone out, including teachers, so that's why I couldn't follow up there. But one of my students had a dance recital, so I went to her dance recital after open house, and that didn't finish up till about 9, 9.30, and then I live about 30 minutes away, so I'm just now getting home. I'm exhausted. <laughs> so thank you for watching my open house. If you liked it, please give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next week.